Good morning, folks, from a very ancient landscape. I'm on the banks of the River Boyne, across from Newgrange, which is hidden in the mist. And I feel like a new man this morning. I can actually travel within my own county, no five kilometer restrictions. So on the banks of a Boyne, at a place I've photographed numerous times over the years, trying to, when I'm trying to hone my uh, photographic skills. And I got this beautiful competition this morning, looking up the Boyne with the mist just floating down the river sheep like ghosts in the mist and the sun's going to get behind me soon absolutely beautiful conditions so glad i got out of bed this morning i wasn't going to so here's the scene i have in front of me i've got this beautiful tree just leaning over into the boyne and the mist just swirling around it uh, a tree appearing on the right hand side it looks quite nice the only thing that annoys me is the bit of grass in the bottom left hand corner I might clone that out then again i might not we'll see how it goes so I'm setting a panoramic up here. And I've got everything level. Lock the autofocus. And now I'll get to work. One. The mist is rolling down really thick now. And the composition is changing as I rotate. This is beautiful. So as the mist is coming down the river here, it's really swirling, and the tree that I'm taking this panoramic off is disappearing as I, as I take it, so I'm having to wait just seconds for it to clear up and continue with the panoramic. This is beautiful. Gorgeous. Right, I'll just take a I'll just take a dodgy picture here with my hand in front of the camera and let me know where the panoramic end is. I'm so happy with this picture. scene is absolutely beautiful so I've taken a the panoramic mist is swirling so much the landscape is changing by the second I'll show what I mean here in the composition I have here in a vertical I actually think this works better than the horizontal it's ghostly uh, and the mist really suits this part of the Boyne Valley it's steeped in history absolutely steeped in history people have been here for thousands of years and this is a beautiful this, this, this haunting image is almost befitting of that landscape Just the composition ever so slightly. And have the, the land coming in from the right hand side. There's some fence posts there which I normally hate, but in this case they look quite abstract. And the tree is just hanging out to the left of the frame, just off the center. I think it works. This composition actually might work better. Good morning, ducks. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Oh, this is what it's all about. Energy for the soul. Oh, stunning. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, the composition. I'm making use of the, the fence posts that, at the edge of the riverbank, and they're leading up to the, the tree in the mist. And this actually is beautiful. I, I like it, but I think when the sun comes up, that, that mist lights up, it'll be even better. These ducks are flying in my video at the moment. Very obliging of them. Won't be long till the won't be long till the sun is up now, but what I'm doing is here is that mist is swirling around. I'm exploring 
the range of the 7200. So pulling back to 70, going in tight with the 200, excluding the reflections. And I've got these ghostly shapes emerging from the mist. Really, really beautiful. It's one of those scenes where I'm going to need to live with the images for a few weeks in Lightroom to see which one I like best. Absolutely beautiful. So glad I came out. It almost reminds me of a constable painting or something that absolutely beautiful. I just love the way the mist. Another wave of mist coming down the river now. The sun is getting up and it's absolutely beautiful. Focus wise, I'm making sure the trunk of the tree is tack sharp. The aperture of f9.5 is making sure everything else is sharp that needs to be sharp. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Things are absolutely stunning this morning. Really glad I got out of the bed. Wasn't going to, and I was very tempted to roll over and just hit that snooze button. But I'm just waiting it out at the moment. The, the tree that I have been photographing is completely obscured by the mist now. So I want the, that to wait, the sun to get up in another 10, 15 minutes and see what, how that light changes the landscape. Very tempted to put the drone up, but there's a lot of uh, sheep, uh, young lambs around I don't want to do that in case, you know, upsets, scares them, etc. They have to be responsible, as landscape photographers. But in the meantime, I'm going to sit it out and see what happens. So glad I get out. So many pictures lying around me. Just hoping I'm not getting seduced by that light and the compositions I've taken already aren't wasteful or stupid or don't work. But look at this, absolutely stunning. Okay, so I switched to 7200 for 16 to 35. The mist, it's just coming down in waves. I can't even see behind the camera there in front of me. Hopefully there's nobody watching me. I think I'm mad talking to myself. Uh, there's this gorgeous tree in front of me. I want to get capture its reflection in the Boyne. There's gorgeous layers of mist between the river, the fields behind me, and there's one of the ancient mounds associated with Newgrange there just off behind that tree on the left-hand side. Absolutely gorgeous. This would be make a fabulous big print. Mm -hmm. 